Impact Wrestling presents Emergence. Streaming live Sunday, August 27th. He was introduced as TNA's executive shareholder last October, but in recent weeks, Mick Foley has returned to the schizophrenic man of multiple personalities and characters that he has been famous for for many years. That totally unpredictable nature and behavior has put Sting in a strange position when it comes to Sunday's TNA World Heavyweight Championship match. Icon even admitted that the lockdown showdown may be more about him surviving than winning or losing. And can there be more of an example of Foley's multiple personalities than this as he sits down to interview Cactus Jack? All right. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the Impact Zone. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, man. As you guys saw, things got a little... Things got a little crazy in the impact zone last week. Foley was, I was busted wide open. And things are gonna get even crazier on April 19th at lockdown when Sting and I are locked inside the six sides of steel. So I thought what I would do in the interim period is kick back, relax, have a little bit of fun and interview one of the true greats that the world of wrestling has ever known. For those of you who said it couldn't be done, yeah, it's going to be done if you would. Put your hands together all the way from Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. Say hello to Cactus Jack. Oh, you think this is funny, Mick? You think this is some kind of a joke? <laughs> I thought, I, why don't you shut your mouth? You don't think the people know that we share the same legs, breathe with the same lungs, talk with the same mouth, yet there are distinct differences between the two of us, Mick, because you have no heart, no guts, and no spine. Hey, hey, hey hold up there, hotshot. You're, you're talking to the guy who lost an ear in a match in Germany and continued to wrestle. No, I'm not talking about that guy. Make no mistake about it, Mick. That guy was me. You? Losing an ear would find solace in the near a banana, banana split, you gluttonous son of a <laughs> wait, wait, no, wait, no, no, hold, hold on. J I'm calling the shots around here. Why don't you tell me where you were, Mick, on the night of July 22nd, 2007? Well, how am I? You know where you were. You were in San Diego, weren't you, Mick? Well, why don't I tell you where you were? At the Comic-Con, signing little pre-copies of your book, trying to create a little buzz of excitement for your next sellout. You had dinner at Croce's, your favorite place, and when you walked out, Mick, you heard the word thief, stop thief, and you saw two youths run by, and you know what you did? You did nothing, Mick. You let it walk by. You let it transpire, and you didn't lift a finger to help. Why? Well, because there was no way that I could get... Shut your mouth. The fact is, you didn't try because you lost the heart, the guts, and the desire a long time ago. I am so tired of you cashing the checks that this body wrote, of you writing stories about my life, of you living off the reputation that I formed. And make no mistake about it, Mick, your days are out 
as far as wrestling inside this ring. You want to be the shareholder, that's fine. But when you're locked inside those six sides of steel, keep the little sneakers at home because I'm lacing up the leopard skin. Keep the, keep the sweatpants in the closet. I'm opting for a little classic Cactus Jack. Because I will not let you, I will not let you have my moment of glory when I vanquish my greatest rival. Well, Mick, don't you, shut your mouth. Shut it, shut it, shut it. Don't you see what's going on here? You lazy, no good guys. How the hell does Sting prepare himself for Mick Foley this Sunday at lockdown? Not only does he have to formulate a strategy to combat Foley's ability to transform into the out of control Cactus Jack, he has to prepare for a championship match in the Six Sides of Steel, a battleground that fits Foley perfectly. I gotta admit, I'm torn about this match. On one hand, I love to see the title stay within the main event mafia. On the other hand, I love to see Jeff Jarrett have to deal with this twisted, sick, demented Mick Foley and try to deal with him as world champion. Mick, you are turning a 20-year friendship into an out-of-control three-ring circus, Mick. I can't believe what I just saw, Mick. I mean, you know, the scary thing is, I believe that you believe what you just did. Mick. Have you lost your mind, Mick? Is this an act, Mick? No, I'm, I'm convinced you really believe what you just did, Mick. But I don't want you to think that I'm gonna be intimidated, Mick, because steel cage, ladders, chairs, tables, barbed wire bats, Mick. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. It doesn't really matter to me, Mick. That's the sting I want to see. That's the sting I want to see because you were never intimidated by me. Even so many years ago when everybody else had the good sense to run for fear when JR would, things would, would say things like, Ron Santo has a family and Cactus Jack doesn't care. He was right, Stinger. I didn't care about human life. But you were never afraid. But there was one time all those years ago, among all the little stingers, you know it, Sting, Philadelphia. The first time you heard the very beginning remnants of a Cactus Jack chant, and you may not have been intimidated, but it threw you off your game. You may not have been scared, Sting, but you sure as hell were concerned. So let me ask you a little question, Stinger. Imagine what it's gonna be like when you're trapped inside a steel cage, locked inside. And those voices aren't faint remnants, but there are seven or 8,000 people, all of them, all of them, Stinger, chanting my name. Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack, Cactus Jack. <laughs> As the familiar music plays, it's obvious the main event mafia out to show their support for Sting, but then Sting gets attacked from behind. Well, before they could get out of here, and I don't, I don't even see him coming, Cactus Jack blindsides the champion. Uh, uh, no. uh, there's no main event uh, mafia coming to your help. There's no main event mafia. I 
can hit anybody's, I can hit anybody's music that I want, Sting, because I, 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 I run this place. Go ahead, play me a little Curry Man. What the hell is going on around here? I'll tell you what's going on, this dude's lost his mind and I'm loving it. Spicy! Give me some, give me some, give me some shark boy! Give me a shell, yeah. This is not only bizarre, this is a train wreck. Yeah, but you gotta admit, you're glued to it. And last but not least, Cue up a little sting. Yes, we are just three days away from lockdown. Live on pay-per-view from Philadelphia, Mick Foley versus Sting for the TNA. Hold on, this guy's not done yet. Look at this, he's got the barbed wire band in his hand. Holy crap, this has been one of the most entertaining things I've ever seen. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like Sunday? I can't wait for this match. Don't you get it, Stinger? I run this place, and I can do any damn thing I want. And at lockdown, I want to tear you apart. Have a nice day.